guys welcome back to my channel welcome to today's vlog i am in such a great mood this morning i'm so excited to vlog because this is my first vlog since announcing that we are pregnant i just am feeling so relieved so it's gonna be a good one i haven't decided if i'm just gonna vlog a couple of days or make it a whole week in my life but either way welcome back my name is emma if you're new here i make motherhood and lifestyle and faith content and i would love for you to subscribe it is a beautiful fall october monday morning i've got my favorite thrifted sweater on that you're gonna see me wear in like every video so let's just move past that because it's my favorite i also just finished getting ready and doing my skincare and i wanted to thank dime for sponsoring today's video you guys know they are my favorite so i wanted to share the products that i used this morning and every single morning for the last year or two their products are vegan and cruelty free they have no harsh chemicals and they make my skin just feel so good i just know that what i'm putting on my skin is safe and it's good ingredients and i love that dime offers offers luxury beauty and skincare and wellness products but at an affordable price. They also offer free returns for up to 60 days and free shipping for all US orders over $75. I always start with the Gentle Jelly Cleanser. This is my go-to. I love this stuff because it's very gentle, obviously, but it also just does a really good job of kind of waking up my face. And then this is a non-negotiable. If this is not in your skincare routine, you need to get it. This is their Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I rave about this stuff all the time. This is what I put on after a cleanser, but before a moisturizer. I just noticed such a big difference when I put this on versus when I don't. And then in the morning, I go in with the dewy day cream. This is another favorite of mine because it just feels like I'm giving my skin a fresh drink of water. It's just so good and hydrating. And I never feel like I need to put on makeup afterwards because my skin is so dewy and glowy and hydrated. After moisturizer, I use an SPF. They have just a regular wonder screen, which is really good, but they also have a tinted wonder screen. And this is my favorite. And then another product I wanted to share, this is not in my morning routine but i use it constantly throughout the day it's their thirsty face mist and another bonus is their really pretty eco-friendly glass packaging all of my skincare products are dime and it just looks so aesthetically pleasing in my drawer having all of the beautiful products if you use my code which is emma20 you can save 20 percent off of your purchase with dime i also have a link at the top of my description with all of my personal favorites but everything i've ever tried from there has been the best and i will never go back so make sure you check them out let's finish getting ready I'm gonna use my wonder screen and kind of chat with you. Today I have Bible study. Really? Also on the agenda today is I need to go to the bank. Super exciting. And during her nap, I'm gonna film my pregnancy Q&A, which I'm really, really excited about. That'll be up before you see this video, so I'll link it for you. But I'm just excited to like sit down and kind of word vomit and talk about all the things that I've been hiding the last three months we really took our time with this baby telling even like our friends and our family it's just been really nice to kind of get to soak it in take our time do things when we wanted to We just got home. Bible study was so good. I ran by the bank. I was a little bit nervous because today's Columbus Day that it would be closed, but it wasn't. And now Jordan's eating these like sweet potato chicken nuggets is what I call them, but they're just sweet potato bites. But I'm feeling good and productive. It's only 11. I think we are gonna go for a WALK -OK after she's done with her lunch because it is absolutely beautiful outside right now. It's like 70 degrees. I'm gonna open up the windows. It is just the best kind of Monday. Speaking of Bible study, I've been getting asked on Instagram quite a bit recently um, if I'm gonna do another U version plan devotional study thing anytime soon and so i think i need to be thinking and praying about that so if you would be interested in doing a U version plan which the U version is just like the bible app that i use and they have she is a good girl <laughs> mom is a good girl jojo is a good girl um anyway uh if you would be interested in doing one of those with us i've done a few and i've loved it every single time and I need a good topic idea because that's what I struggle with. Just because it'd be a good topic for me doesn't mean it would be universally a good topic. Like I can't necessarily do one on motherhood or being a godly wife or obviously pregnancy or like anything too specific so that everyone can be involved. I think we've done one on peace 
And then we did one on anxiety, I believe. quite the productive morning. It's already one. I just put Jordan down for a nap and I have yet to talk with you because I've just had the most ideal morning, honestly. It's been so productive and so joyful. It's like one of those really beautiful fall mornings where we've had the windows open. It's been actually like chilly, like we're both in our sweats all day. We went for our morning walk, we played outside, and then I ran to Walmart and grabbed just a couple of random things we were needing, mainly ingredients for the Zupa Toscana soup I'm gonna make tomorrow that I'll show you. I made some pumpkin muffins. I did a little toy rotation, picked up the house, uploaded stories on Instagram for a brand. We're really cooking this morning. And now, do you know what's in this bag? These are all of my maternity clothes from with Jordan. And it's weird that we're here already because I'm only 17, 18 weeks but I'm like in that really awkward phase where I'm too big for my pants. <laughs> like I literally have to wear leggings every day or I have to rubber band my pants and even then it's uncomfortable. But I feel like I'm too small for these maternity jeans. Like I don't have a huge bump, but I'm definitely too big for normal clothes. So I'm just in this super awkward in between. I'm gonna pull some of this stuff out, see what we can use. I'm mainly looking for shirts and things that I'm remembering from when I was pregnant with Jordan in the fall, a little bit more flattering than what I wear right now. It is nice that I don't really have to worry about work outfits too often. In my head, I'm like, I wasn't pregnant that long ago, but it's been two years. I might be able to wear these right now. These are just some normal black skinny jeans. This is my problem, okay? If you have really great maternity jeans that you love, let me know. I struggle with buying maternity clothes because it's such a limited amount of time I need them, and I am cheap as heck. The jeans that I remember having, I only bought like a pair or two. They're this horrible, like this, the worst. And I hated them. These have these little elastic bands on the side. I don't remember if I liked these though. We'll see. But if you have any that are kind of like this, like they have the bands on the side instead of this weird waistband, let me know any recommendations you have down below. This is what I was picturing that I was really missing and wanting to wear for fall just because I feel like it'll be comfy and long enough and not awkward with my weird in-between bump. Oh boy, this just triggered me. Uh, oh man, we're not there yet, thankfully. This pregnancy has definitely uh, kicked it into gear a lot quicker, so I'm gonna wash this massive pile of clothes. Other than that, during this nap, I have quite a lot of things I want to do. I did do a lot of it this morning, thankfully. The biggest thing, other than washing all these clothes that I want to do during this nap, is I really need to figure out my teaching license because I took a bunch of like free courses and stuff while I was still employed with my district and I got all the stuff I need to get done to renew my license, but I need to actually go through like the process of renewing because it expires in December. So I need to like get the ball rolling and it's one of those things that just sits in the back of my mind and stresses me out for weeks and weeks and weeks. And I just need to sit and like look it up, see what I need to do, fill out some forms. Do you ever have those things on your list that like they're probably not that hard, but they just, they're stressing me out so much. Also, here is the bump. Um, I don't think I've done a real time 
little bump date yet, but this is what we're looking like today. Um, it's gonna be much fuller by the end of the day, but like it's a good little bump, you know? We just got home, just put Jordan down. We actually ended up going to play tennis. I say we, Michael used to play tennis and his sister did as well. So we went and him and his sister played tennis and I wrangled Jordan and it was so beautiful. Like the sunset was just so lovely and the weather was perfect. Now I'm getting ready to shower and it's a hair washing night and I wanted to share the shampoo that I've been enjoying. It is from Function of Beauty. This obviously is not sponsored by them, but they sent it to me a couple weeks ago and I've been trying it and I actually really, really like it. I think it's really cool. You like buy the shampoo base and then you buy a little, I should have kept one to show you, but I use them all. They're like little bead looking things that you put in depending on what you want it to do for your hair. So I have the type for wavy hair because I obviously have wavy hair. And then I added Shine and something else frizz control maybe to the shampoo yeah i feel like i have to wash my hair less when i've been using this which is really nice so just wanted to share because i've heard so many people talk about function and beauty but i've never actually tried them myself and i actually really like them anyways i'm gonna do a full body shower also i started watching the golden bachelor and i'm into it which is embarrassing because i've not watched the bachelor for many years i think it's so stupid um, but this one was just like so wholesome and sweet and I loved it. a lovely morning we went for a walk um, I had started cooking the Zupa Toscana to put it in the crock pot in a little bit and you just saw what happened my grandma called me we're gonna go to lunch with her and I walked away for literally 30 seconds and I came back and the sausage was gone I'm so frustrated because sausage is not cheap and that was my last onion so I now have to buy both. If I was just making that for us, I would have said scratch it, but I was literally making that for our parenting class tonight. Every week we like do like a potluck and I was bringing that for that purpose. Like I have to bring it, it is the meal tonight. So now I have to run to Walmart, spend more money. We're still gonna have a good day. We're still gonna make a delicious soup. It is what it is. I also prayed my entire walk this morning. That's like the spiritual discipline we're practicing this week is prayer. And I decided to pray like out loud while I'm walking just so I can be more focused and it was wonderful. So that's a blessing of today. I'm really excited to go to lunch with my grandma today. I'm excited for our parenting group tonight. Lots of beautiful things happening oh, that I need to remember. It's just money, it's just food, just time. It's just a dog. saved it's in the crock pot it's so easy i'll have the recipe linked below i am a little bummed because i needed to run to target which is right by where we're going to lunch and i was gonna run there before 
but I'm not gonna have time. We need to leave in like five minutes in order to make lunch on time. And by the time lunch is done, she's gonna be cranky and sleeping and it's gonna be nap time. So it can wait, it's nothing special. She just needs some warm PJs and I found some last night that she had that I loved that I wanted to snack because they're on sale today. But we're gonna head out to lunch um, and hopefully have a little bit of a less chaotic rest of our day. We made it. We went to lunch. It was great. And I had time to run by Target on the way home. I wanted to share the PJs that I picked up. So these are Cat and Jack. They were originally $10, they're on sale for $8, but even $10 is not a bad deal. They're fleece, I don't know if you can even really tell, but it's like the material and the warmth and the fuzziness of like the onesie zip up pajamas that I would put on her in the winter. The other day it got very cold and we didn't wanna turn the heat up all the way, like it was on, but it was on pretty low. And we found a pair of footy pajamas that I had bought for her for Christmas this year and she absolutely hated wearing them. I think she was just feeling like constricted. Um, she hated having the things over her feet. She kept like trying to rip it off, like hated it and it fit her fine. So uh, I think we're over the onesie stage, which is actually really, really sad, but it's okay. Um, so anyways, that's the purpose of these. They are very similar, but they're two piece like sets. Got this really cute heart one and then this cookies and milk one which I think this is supposed to be a boy pattern but it's adorable now it's nap time I just threw her down because of course she fell asleep on the way home and I have so many things to get done I sub tomorrow and Friday and so I'm feeling a little bit of pressure to like get everything off my list today um I need to do the floor still I need to put away Michael's laundry that's in the dryer um but the most important thing I need to get done like first is I need to film some stories for a brand. I need to edit those and I need to send those in. So that'll take me a good hour. So I'm gonna knock that out super quick. <laughs> the first one is the I don't know why I always feel so much more uncomfortable with doing um, Instagram stories because it's like so much quicker squeezing everything I'm supposed to say into like a few frames and also more people in real life that like know me in real life watch my Instagram stories whereas I feel like a lot of people that know me don't watch my videos so it just feels like I'm exposing myself hopefully that will work okay pausing I'm in the middle of doing the floors and I just came down to do the basement but I got a package that I wanted to open with you really quick. I got my breast pump from insurance, which, you know, it's really not that exciting, but I'm excited about it. So I wanted to open it with you. With Jordan, I literally remember looking up on like the website with my insurance, all of the pumps that I was able to get. And I never actually ordered any of them because I was just, I don't know, I didn't. And I had the portable LVs. So I figured that'd be good. And I kind of regretted it. So I figured I would try it out, especially just because it's free. My insurance literally gave me one option. They gave me a handful, but this was the only one that was 100% covered. So I figured I'd just give this one a shot. This is what I grabbed. This is very boring, but I'm excited because I've never had a legit pump. And I'm really excited because it came with a ton of these like storage bags and I went through these like crazy with Joe so I'm very excited they gave me three bags of these so if you've used the pump in style <laughs> let me know give me your tips give me your advice that's exciting every time I just get something else or I get a step closer to <sighs> baby I'm like wow this is actually happening I'm actually having another child and they will be here in five months, which is just, you know, that's not very long. Yeah. 
It's been a slow start this morning. Oh, here comes the space bun girl. Hello. I sub today and tomorrow in kindergarten. That will be interesting. I subbed last week one day in kinder and one day in third. And I was nervous for both because I don't really have a ton of experience, obviously, in either of those. I taught in first grade, I student taught in second grade, so those are definitely like my comfort grade. But surprisingly, I actually think I preferred third grade to kindergarten, which I don't know that I would have pictured that. But kindergarten was fun. It wasn't as bad as I had made it out to be in my head, so I think today will be fun. I am also 18 weeks pregnant today, which is super exciting. I turn a new week every Thursday. All the sizes are so strange to me, like it's a cucumber or an artichoke. I'm like, I feel like that comes in a very wide variety of sizes. Feeling good. What? Where's Jojo? There she is. Just wanna say good morning. I will do my very best to vlog today, but yeah, no, with kinder, we'll see how that really goes. It's gonna be a good day. I've been here for a whopping um, 30 minutes and they went to library, which is really nice, but <sighs> kinder is just so much work. You wouldn't think it's a big difference from kinder to first, but it's such a jump. They are very different. Uh, but... <laughs> It was quite a day and I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog because I just wanna go home and do nothing and it's just too hard to vlog during the day and I'm sub again tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching and for being here. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already and follow me over on Instagram. It's also Emma Grace Jens. I'll see you guys next time. Bye friends.